Well, uh, I'm Pete Farrelly. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled, thrilled to be in Atlanta, and uh, and and I finally figured out how to get an award. Uh, n don't have a film in the festival. Uh, that's helped. Um, I'm going to give you a little uh, uh, quick talk, 20, 20, 30 minutes, about um, uh, just to get you guys revved up. You know, there's never been a better time to get in the film, the film business than right now because I don't know if you heard, but the economy sucks. There's no jobs. You got nothing to lose. So just go for it. You know, 10, ten years ago, uh, if you came out of college and you were pretty bright, you know, there were, there were great jobs. You could make a lot of money, dot com, this com, that com. People were making, you know, piles of money. But now, you, you know, it's very hard. So you might as well do this and go for it. And I'll tell you something else. When I moved to L.A., you know, 20-something years ago, um, you know, you, you get out to L.A., you want to get in the film business, and you go to parties, and you meet people, and at the coffee place, and at the gym, and you make friends, and, and, and they introduce you to more friends, and you, you meet a lot of people. And what you find, I've realized all these years later is the guys and women who made it are the ones who just didn't leave. You just stick it out. You know, if you really want to make it in the film business, it's not that hard. It really isn't. I'm telling you this from my, the bottom of my heart. You just got to go out there or go to New York or, or, you know, make your film here and just stick it out. Everybody I know who did that is successful. Everybody who stayed in L.A., uh, the people I met when I first got out there, uh, they're, they're all working. And the guys who are my friends who are successful in the business, they made it happen themselves, you know, from the Wilson brothers, you know, Owen and Luke, you know, they just wrote their own script and as did, you know, Matt Damon and, you know, you have an opportunity now with, uh, with digital cameras and, and all sorts of stuff to make movies very inexpensively, get them seen and, and, uh, and, and make feature films and I'm, I'm uh, so, so don't think it's this million to one shot, it's not, it's, it's a lot easier than that. If it's something that you really want, you're not going to quit. Uh, so uh, before I uh, name the best picture uh, uh, winner for tonight, I want to say, um, if you are serious about this and you have a script, um, you can send them to uh, Jason Sudeikis at gmail.com. Uh, he's always looking for new projects. Um, and uh, God bless you all. Good luck. You really, there's no way to, you know, uh, prepare somebody for making a movie until you do it. It's, it's a lot like marriage, actually. And, you know, people go in, they don't know what's going to happen, and half of them make it. There's also, there is something really great about this, and that is that, you know, when I was in college, and most people, I, I think their experience in college is you have to do things that are, there are certain expectations. And, you know, a, a teacher has a, a plan of what they, they want something to be like, and you have to rise to that level and do that thing, whether it be writing an essay or taking a test or doing anything else and the freedom to have a week to be able to do whatever you want uh, I think awakens a, a, a creativity in people that they didn't know they had and you don't get this sort of opportunity a lot uh, and you could just see the, the you know I mean cr great inspiration in, in these shorts they were really fantastic it was a ball to watch but the people who came up and who we met you, you could see kind of a light had gone on and and uh, it, it, they, they, you could tell they got the bug. You know, you just follow your heart. You do what you feel is, you know, you want to do. You know, you don't try to be someone else. I loved the Zucker brothers growing up. Those were, those were my idols. But I didn't want to be the Zucker brothers. I, I, they were the Zucker brothers. And I didn't want to do that thing. And we had our own thing. And in fact, you know, when I first got in the biz, I worked with the Zucker brothers. They were the first guys we worked with, along with Eddie Murphy. And... Um, I remember, like, you know, uh, we weren't the same, and they didn't quite get what I was doing, and I got what they were doing, you know, but I was like, no, no, we got to push it this way, and they are no, you know, I, I uh, so you just have to be true to yourself and hope that uh, you're right, <laughs> you know, uh, honestly, uh, uh, you know, there's no point in, in following someone else's, uh, you know, uh, footprint and trying to do what they do, uh, and hopefully you have a, 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 a distinct uh, POV and you could create something that is uh, new. And, you know, in fact, you know, uh, someone asked me, well, why are there a lot of brother teams out there? Uh, and I said, well, probably because um, 
you know, when you when you make a studio film, you have a lot of battles, a lot of battles. Like, you know, it, it months of battling to keep the hair gel in something about Mary. You know, the studio read that script and they said, not doable. That's a that's a porno. I said, no, 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 it's not a porno. They're like, well, yeah, it is. You can't have semen in a movie. I said, yeah, you can. I mean, the actual it, it, the definition of of uh, NC-17 is if there's sex for titillation, and for R, it's if there's sexual stuff for uh, humor. And um, uh, uh, you know, so you have these battles, and you could lose those battles. And when there's two guys, you 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 win more. Be like sometimes I just ah, f f to hell with it. You're okay. And my brother says, no, 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 no. We're we're not get, we're doing this. I say, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We're not going to back down. <laughs> Or he'll be backing down, and I'll say, no, 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 no. You know, you hold each other up because it's easy to crumble. And that's why if you look at the brother teams out there, they're pretty uh, original. They're different. You know, the, the Coens and the Zuckers and the Wachowskis, you know, they have a specific point of view. Uh, yeah, the Wayans, they all have their own specific point of view. And, and because there's two or three, they're able to uh, fight for that point of view and win, and that's what you have to do to, to, to make it in this business. When we did our first movie, Dumb and Dumber, someone said to me at the beginning, they said, okay, just exp I gotta tell you something, that script that you love, if you get 60% of that script, be grateful, because they're gonna beat you down. I was like, really? I mean, are you kidding me? And they said, no, they'll beat the hell out of you. You're not gonna get more than that. If you get 60, be happy. We got 100, we got 100%, we just didn't give up. We didn't give, you know, we would not, we just, they push and you push back. You say, no, 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 no. And they've made 50 movies or 100 movies, they, they, and you've made none. So, you know, you could come across like a little pushy, you know, jerk, but you have to fight for what you believe in, and that's what we did. I just want to thank you all for having us, too. It was really great. We've been having a great time here, but this was really fun, fun night, and uh, if we're here next year, we'll be back.